been to the NFL now, you're out on the practice field, it, it's real now. Talk about how it feels for you. Uh, I can say it feels good, you know, if it did come true, you know, I, I can still see the difference from college to NFL right now. Um, it's just a big difference from, you know, all plays wise, I'll say. You were talking about how uh, during OTAs, how uh, the field is lined, it lined differently with the hash marks and all that, so your your marking points, you know, for routes and right. all that sort of thing, uh, it is different. Right. How much of an adjustment is there? Uh, I'll say, you know, from a walkthrough standpoint, which we just finished, uh, Coach Chuck does a great job with me on, you know, setting me up the right way with the plays and the with the plays a lot. So uh, I'm always going to be able to make sure I'm on my plays. I feel like. I made a big difference from when I first got here to now, so uh, I know a lot more than I did. Tyler spoke about mentoring you, keeping you comfortable, you know, not keeping the pressure off of you. What type of things have you learned from Tyler? How's that relationship blossomed? Uh, me and T-Boy, uh, he real cool. Sometimes he might give me the wrong answer. Sometimes I don't listen to him. <laughs> yeah, so I got to choose my, 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 uh, my rounds to listen to him. But. Uh, the majority of the time he's cool with me, you know, he's always on me telling me what to do. Sometimes I might mess up and line up, and he might tell me before I even come, come line up. So, uh, you know, just what he's doing is supposed to make sure I'm in the right spot, in the right spot being accountable. What do you mean he doesn't like what? Do you mean the right answer? Uh, like one time, uh, we was talking about a play, and I asked, isn't that supposed to be a slant? Like somebody ran the wrong route, and he was like, no, they ran the right. And uh, I guess. Coach Zach must have said the wrong answer too, and uh, I asked Troy, and I had like a full debate about this, like the whole debate, because I really didn't know what was the route. So um, when we got out there, I had it was time for me to run a route, and I asked T. Boy what was the route, and he gave me the wrong route, <laughs> which I knew what it was. So I should, that was my time. I should ignore him that time. <laughs> it's funny because he said he didn't need to study as much because he knows the system and the playbook really yeah. well. So now I'm back up. <laughs> yeah. What's that dynamic been like between all three of y'all so far? It's all kind of time with the UT and TV. Yeah, uh, we we start to hang out a lot more. You know, go out to eat with each other. Uh, I feel like you know we're, we're building. You know, trusting each other. Um, you know, it's all about relaying the message out there. So that's one thing I say we need to get communication better. On. What's cool. your What's your favorite restaurant that you've been to in Cincinnati? Restaurant, uh, Jeff uh It's called the Precinct. Yeah. Yeah, that's probably the best spot I've had. They got the Joe Burrow steak. I tried that like two times already, uh, but I love it over there. It's real nice. Joe Burrow uh, says Joe Burrow is probably the smarter football player as a uh, run across in a while. Says that your football intelligence is something that separates you. Where does that come from? Where does that understanding of the game of football come from for you? Um, I'll just say you know you, you have to want it. You know what I'm saying? Um, I know at college Joe was actually one of the first people to help me like really break down film. You know, I used to just sit there and watch myself and try to critique myself, but Joe actually gave me the ins and outs of watching film when I was younger. And it plays a part now. So, you know, it's just having to have that want, you know, and, and have to want to study your plays. And I feel like that's something that everyone needs to do. Being back on the practice field with Joe, how much is that chemistry after a year apart come back like that? Uh, I, I'll, I'll probably say we never lost it. You know, it's just a little communication with me and him if, if I might mess up. You know, and he, he'll tell me what's going on, tell me how he wants to tell me, you know, what I see on the play. So we talk about it correctly, and that's how it's always been. How, how do you compare the communication between you and Joe and you and the two other big-time wide receivers, T-Boy? Um, it's definitely a difference because, you know, we, we have to make sure what we line up is correctly. Sometimes if we don't know the roster, we got to learn how to signal it to each other without letting the defense know. Um, but on the side with Joe, Joe gives us signals, and we got to know our signals sometimes. Um, so it's really just you know knowing your quarterback, knowing your receivers, having that having that bond with them. What do you think you do best? What What do you think is your best trait at the wide receiver position? Uh, I feel like my best trait is being physical. You know, uh, being a tough receiver. You know, making tough catches. You know, I have strong hands, so I say that's my biggest suit. Jamar T talked about just one thing he noticed about the NFL is the DBs contest a lot more, it's a little bit more tougher. Have you found that in practice already? That Going up against pro DBs is a lot different. No, I mean I had one go ball, uh, two go balls. I dropped one of them, and another one was uh, underthrown. I wouldn't say that. I'd probably say they sit a lot more now. I feel like they sit a lot more, and I feel like they know what's coming just because of the way I'm lining up. So um, that's on my part to make sure all my routes look look alike. You know what I'm saying? You think they're a little more surprised that a rookie like yourself is picked up on that? 
Uh, I'll probably say yeah and no, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I don't know what other teams they've been around, you know. Uh, but, you know, I'm trying to come in and work, you know, make this team better, make this organization better, and that's my job. Thank you. How excited are you to practice in front of some fans today? Uh, I'm excited as I, I can be. This is my first time going to be in front of fans in, in what, a year, I think. Okay. So, uh, you know, I'm just going to go out there, act like I don't see you guys, because I need to make sure I do my work <laughs> and my business the right way. So, um, but, you know I'm sure I hit the noise a little bit and enjoy it. You still remember the spies around town? Did you say you uh, <laughs> were in the spies? No, I don't even go outside no more. I got my house now, so I'm strictly inside now. Nope. <laughs> Are you living right next to Joe? You were saying y'all are pretty close. Uh, we're pretty close to each other. We're not right next to each other. Uh, I don't want to be that close to him. <laughs> <laughs> you, have you been able to get some, I mean, now that y'all are kind of somewhat neighbors, have you been able to spend some time with the kid a little bit? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, me and him talk. I always text him when we all we always talking constantly. Um, in person, I might pull up on his house a little bit. I think I've been to his house maybe three times. I put a couple of my plaques over there uh, for when I didn't have my house yet. So I just had a whole bunch of stuff sitting by him. So that was that's, that's the way I did it. Is he cool with you? Just stashing a bunch of stuff. Like yeah, I'm, I'm, I, at least I think so. <laughs> I would hope so. <laughs> Which ones were over there? Um, it was my trophy. It wasn't my trophy. It was my. Uh, Picture of me when Thad scored, um, uh, Bengals picture with rookie signatures from my uh, draft party, and um, another picture of my jersey from my college championship. So I don't know that. A lot of talk about when the pads come on, it's big for the running backs. Why is it such a big deal for wide receivers when the pads come on? Yeah, I feel like uh, it's a big difference when pads come on because. DBs, you know, they're going to try to get your hands on you, physical. They're going to try to out-physical us, you know, that's when we can show them how physical we are, get our hands off them. And that's when a lot of hand play starts, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so I think that's a bigger part for receivers, you know, because we actually get the feel for it now. Everybody gets stiffer, gets slowed down. And that's when you can see a lot more. Is that one of your, when you said physical, is that one of your big things is getting rid of people uh, when they try to press, put their hands on you? Yeah, I mean, I'm always working on releases constantly. You know, Troy sometimes says I get into a habit and stop doing it. So, you know, I, I actually I have to always you know, work on my releases because now the game is a lot faster. You know, if it speeds me up, then I might mess up. So I got to make sure I, I can take my speed. Tyler said having three receivers with a 1,000 yards is a possibility with this offense. Right. Is that something you guys talk about, or is that just something that's just going to happen? You know, tomorrow? Uh, we don't need to talk about it. It's already in the air, I would say. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that's our mindset. That's that's where we want to be. Without without even telling each other, that's what we want. We know what we want already. What do you make of the offense play in practice the last couple days? Say it again. What do you make of the offense play the last couple days? Seems like y'all kind of struggled together a little bit of time, especially the ones. Uh yeah, yesterday I said we defense had a good practice, you know, in the red zone. Um, first time in doing an install on red zone. You know, we got another uh, red zone pair today. So you know, they showed out yesterday. I mean. It's nothing. That's what that's what's supposed to happen. That's when you find out, you know, who's players, players. So some players rise, some players fall. So, you know, that's just gonna be how we wanna handle it. See how, how well we move as a team. How much better? Do you want you all wanna get back at the day after yesterday? Of course. Of course. We're trying to get at them every day, not just one day. No. I was gonna say how much back and forth is there? Are they letting you know when they're kinda of getting the better you guys in the practice? Uh like talking wise? Yeah. I'm not sure. No, no, no. No, I don't think they. I'm, I don't think they talk trash. At least right now, you know what I'm saying. Uh, we might hear when the pass come on. We might hear a little bit today, to be honest. I know T. Boyd and uh, and Jesse goes at it a little bit. So you know, it's a little friendly competition. What's your biggest memory from the 2019 national championship season with Joe Burrow? What what sticks out in your mind the most? Uh, I'll say winning the championship game. That was my first championship game. You know, I, that I ever won. For football, so I'll definitely say my championship game. How important is it for you that, that Joe gets a couple preseason snaps and that you can get out there with him? Uh, that'd be cool, you know, that way we could get on our, um, back on our timing for real, you know, in game mode. Um, then again, uh, I think it'd be good on my part, you know, to feel for the speed now. You know, definitely there's a big difference in speed in the NFL, and I, I, and I can feel that practice, so I think the game will just help me get better at it. You feel like your transition to the NFL is uh, maybe potentially smoother because you played against cornerbacks in the SEC that are number one draft picks in the NFL when they came out? 
Yeah, I'll say that. Um, a lot of stuff SEC did my, at, when I was at LSU was stuff we doing now, you know what I'm saying? From the offense, from, you know, weights, you know, everything literally we've been doing. So uh, it's just me, you know, getting used to it again. And it's just a lot longer than it was. How many other receivers in your draft class are you still in contact with? Maybe seeing how teams do good camp different ways and just kind of stay in touch with them. Yeah. Um, you know, I'm always in touch with my guys from LSU, Terrence Marshall, Richmond, and Matt. Um, I worked out with a few guys um, in Miami, um, Mario Rogers. So uh, those type of guys, I don't really keep in touch with them, you know, but LSU guys are always in touch. You know? you know, Brandon, Brandon LaFell told me that you were a special guy. He's a LSU receiver, a yeah. Super Bowl champion. How does it feel to know someone like that has high praise for you already? Uh, it just, you know, keeps my mind going, keeps me wanting to be great, you know what I'm saying? Uh, he actually talked to me the night of the championship game, you know, telling me something myself. So I couldn't say nothing but thank you. you know, that's just giving me, giving me more and more motivation than what it is. Thank you. What kind of touchdown celebration will we see this year? <laughs> uh, uh, I'm not sure yet. I'm sure y'all gonna get the gritty out of me first touchdown, just because like, I have to. You know, I gotta put it on the map. So. Uh, I don't know. I'll have some exciting stuff. Me and T. Boyd and, and T. Higgins gonna make up some dance moves or something. We're gonna try to, try to look like a little team when we dance. So we're gonna try to come up with some stuff. You know, keep the fans energy. Have you found a, an easy button yet that Ocho Cinco talked about? I haven't yet. I haven't even gone and looked for it yet. And I know <laughs> we just talk about it, so I'm gonna just keep that on the side and bust it out on the game. Y'all can at least expect it. So, <laughs> gotta hold that one.